Hi, Mark Gordon here uh, with a gold and silver uh, forecast. Uh, this is the GLD, the Gold Exchange Traded Fund, and uh, we were forming this sort of wedging pattern here, and about eight sessions ago, we broke out of that to the downside, unfortunately, on some very heavy volume here. Uh, we had a big gap down here, uh, and uh, uh, then a little sideways stalling, and then another gap down here on some tremendous volume, and then yesterday another gap down on some even bigger volume. In fact, the biggest volume we've seen in quite a while. And uh, today uh, we have uh, an up day about eight tenths of a percent, but it's what's called an inside day. Um, and uh, that's uh, inside the range of the previous day here. The volume here uh, to the upside was lackluster. Uh, not a lot of push to the upside versus the amount of downside selling volume. Uh, I would have said that this was what they call a reversal day. In other words, that putting in a temporary bottom. Uh, but we did close at the lower end of the trading range, so I'm not so sure about that. Uh, but for now, we are in a massive uh, uh, downtrend, lots of momentum to the downside. We are below this gray line here, which is the 10-day moving average. Nothing to say that this is a bottom, nothing to say that we could get long on the goal that we have put in a bottom. Uh, so um, I remain uh, bearish on gold right now. We are definitely in a downtrend. And uh, we're going to take a look at a weekly chart, and I'll uh, show you more. Looking now at a weekly chart of the GLD, uh, we can see this free fall that we've uh, been experiencing here the last two weeks, uh, breaking out of this wedging pattern that was forming to the downside. Now, what's interesting is at the beginning of 2012, uh, we had a break from about the 174 level down here to 148. Then we rallied back up to 174, broke again down to 148. Now we've rallied back up here again to 174 here in October of last year, and now it looks like we're headed back down to 148. Uh, surely that is a magnet uh, for the sellers here. Uh, let's see if we can make a triple bottom. Now this low here uh, came in at uh, 150.84, 150.84. So uh, my guess is, come back down here, let's see how we react down at this 148 level. Uh, very important level to see if the markets are going to stabilize and, and try to make a rally attempt here. That would be a, a triple bottom. But a very, very important juncture here right now on the gold. Now moving on now to a monthly chart of gold. Uh, we can see that we uh, topped out here uh, about 18 months ago. And, um, uh, you know, uh, um, we, that was our top back here in uh, the summer of uh, 2011 now. We have been in a correction, a sideways moving correction here. Uh, we put in this nice cup here. Looked like it might have been a cup with a handle, but we've now made another leg down. Uh, so going back down here to test the 1526 area. 1526, you can see the possibility of a triple bottom down here. Now, we will have support coming in here at this black dotted line, which is the 40-month moving average at about 1,500. So uh, all eyes uh, on this chart here. Certainly breaking 150, uh, 1526.70 would be a bearish sign. And moving on now to silver, uh, this is the SLV, the silver ETF. And uh, we can see the same kind of a break action here. <coughs> um, you know, some massive drops, some gaps here on some heavy volume. So heavy volume selling coming from about the 130, 131 level on down here uh, to a low of uh, 2762, 2762. Massive volume inside day to day, a little bit of a bounce, half a percent, but still breaking through that wedging pattern to the downside, not a good sign for silver. Here's the weekly chart of silver, a very interesting chart, down about 4% on the week here. You can see the break we've had. Now, I did draw some channel lines here, and what's interesting is we're coming down to the uh, to test the bottom uh, uh, channel line here, which could hold. <clears throat> now, also, we do have some previous lows, just like in the gold. We, we um, hit a low of uh, 2565 back here late in 2011, and then uh, rallied back up to 3644, uh, came all the way back down to the 25 level here uh, <clears throat> in the summer last year, and then rallied back up, didn't get quite as high, got to 3408, and now coming back down. Perhaps another uh, 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 triple bottom test? We don't know yet. But uh, the first thing, let's see if this bottom channel line holds. If not, then the support would come in at this previous low at 25.34. So silver in a downtrend as well. And looking at the uh, monthly chart of the silver, <coughs> we can see that we peaked out here 
I almost said fifty dollars uh, here on the on the spot price of silver, and uh, that was in uh, the spring of uh, 2011. We have been in a corrective phase here uh, on the silver uh, for almost two years now. And we are down here uh, testing this 40-month moving average again, which held the last time we tested here at 26.10. Uh, so, um, you know, getting support down here for the time being at this 40-month moving average. Uh, so this is a, a very interesting uh, spot for silver to try and hold as well. Certainly breaking 35.44 would put us back into a bullish mode here to the upside. And breaking through this upper channel line, you can imagine a line coming across here would be a bullish sign as well. But for now, silver in a downtrend and gold in a downtrend. So if you uh, you know are against uh, going short on these, um, it's best to be neutral. Uh, I wouldn't be buying right now. I'd wait for uh, better weather. So uh, good luck trading, everybody. Talk to you soon.